Hey guys, Travis Macy here, Macy Endurance Coaching. Hey, hope you're doing well. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a common story, guys. We, we put in all the time, we put in the effort, we work hard, we get to the big race, and then for whatever reason, instead of feeling wonderful, we we feel like this guy. We feel like just, uh, you know, a, a skeleton out there, and it's, uh, you know, it's not the ideal race that we hope for. And... Uh, you know, guys, that's that's part of the deal. Some races are going to be great, but sometimes you're going to have a crappy race, and uh, you're going to have to deal with it. So here's here's my advice, kind of four tips on bouncing back from a less than ideal race. First one, guys, just kind of take a step back and, and take a renewed perspective on it. You know, we have big things in life, whether it's a race or a test or uh, you know a career step, uh, whatever the case might be. Sometimes it goes how we want it to, and, and sometimes it doesn't. It's, it, it feels really big in the moment, but whether you win or whether you lose, usually it's not quite as big of a deal as, as we think it is at, the, at that moment. So, so taking that perspective, that's my first bit of advice. Uh, my second one is, is to learn from it, but don't overanalyze. You know? Take some time, go through your training, nutrition, preparation, gear, all that kind of stuff, and learn what you can. But guys, don't don't harp on it. Don't don't get into these negative thoughts where you're just totally overanalyzing everything, because you know that doesn't help you. You got to move on. Uh, step number three: um, take some time to think about what's next. You know, sometimes. If we, we have a bad race and we think, oh my God, I got to make up for it. Or we have a great race and we're like, oh, that was so awesome. And, and in either case, you know, five minutes later, we're online looking for the next race or the next ultra. And my advice is take a little bit of time. You don't have to sign up for something right now. You know, maybe spend a few weeks during your recovery and think about the, the next cycle of your life with work, with family, with training, with seasons. You know, how does that play out before you decide to immediately sign up for something next? And then finally, the, the fourth step, you know, you have a, a poor race. What do you do? My advice is, is, you know, spend some time focusing on the other things in your life. Focus on your family, your work, you know, travel, things that you haven't done as much of because you've been training and racing so hard. And it's, it's a good time to just, that'll help you with that perspective. So anyway, guys, uh, MacyEnduranceCoaching.com, a few tips. Hopefully that'll uh, keep you from um, ending up, uh, you know, being like a skeleton next time. And uh, yeah, have a good one. We'll, we'll catch you out there.